Okay, in order to import stock prices from Yahoo Finance, we are going to do to import first the respective library, which is going to be Y Finance. Import Y Finance as YF, and then we will set the stock for which we want to download information. So the tick, we will suppose that we want information for the stock for the price of Nvidia. Uh, we will create a variable into our in our Jupyter uh, lab session, which is going to be called tick, and then very easily we will uh, say yf download, and then the first argument, which is tick. We will see that we can we have already received some information on the open price, the high, low, the adjusted close, the close price, as well as the volume of this uh, of this stock. And the second thing that we can also see is that we have information from 1999 up to uh, 2020, up to the 29th of April of 2020, which is the present time. Um, as you can see, the uh, parameter uh, period is uh, set by default to max, which is the, uh, the maximum uh, uh, amount of information available from Yahoo Finance. And we can also see that the interval corresponds to one day. We can modify this parameter. We will be doing this, but first let's take a look at the um, how to um, set a variable with this information. We, say, say, we do the same, download and then tick. And we have this information saved into a variable in our current uh, Jupyter Lab session. We check the head and we can check the tail, the, the last five rows of this, um, of this data set. If we check, for example, if we wanted to know the type of the data set that we have um, saved into our uh, in current environment, it is going to be a pandas data frame. Um, we can um, also define more um, more arguments into this same uh, function, which is the download uh, function for the library uh, Y Finance. In addition, we can, for example, set a start date. Assume that we want the information from uh, the 1st of January of 2019 and up to the, uh, say, the 4th of um, the 26th of April. So we said 4 and 26. So if we save this into our data set, into our other variable created containing the data set, we see that it corresponds to the dates that we have requested, to the available dates that we have requested. Assuming that we are not interested in uh, all of these uh, columns that we have, for example, I don't care what is what was the open price or the low price or the volume. Suppose that I'm only interested in the adjusted price. Uh, we can do this very, very easily by adding, for example, one brackets and uh, define the column that we are interested in. So if we say that this is, we are interested in the adjusted close, we will be receiving only that column for the uh, ticker symbol of the NVIDIA stock. This is only for one stock. This is a procedure to download only one stock, but we can also download several stocks at the same time. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create the um, a list containing the ticker symbols of the stocks I want to uh, get the information. Suppose that I want information on Facebook, I want information on Apple, on Amazon, on the stock of um, uh, Netflix and on the stock of Google. So I need to create, first of all, my variable including the uh, these ticks, which is uh, the variable ticks. 
and I can call the library and the function download. I add my variable which is dix. I am going to be adding a start and an end which is the same as before just for the sake of this example and I will be running this uh, this line of code. So as you can see, we have downloaded all of the previous uh, columns, but for, se for, for several stocks, for the stock of um, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Netflix. Notice that uh, in this case, the first dimension is going to be the price. In this case, is the adjusted close, the close, the open, the volume, and so on. And the second dimension is going to be the ticker symbol of each of the stocks that we requested. If we wanted these to be uh, to be different, we can also do that. So the only thing that we need to do is to add another argument to this function. So the argument that we will be adding is going to be the group by argument, and we will be setting it's equal to ticker. In this case, what we will be obtaining is at, is the first dimension, is that the first dimension will be uh, the name of the company or the ticker symbol of the company, and the second dimension would be the price, the type of the price. So if we run this command, then we will see that this is the case. Assuming that um, we are interested only in uh, the adjusted uh, price, uh, in the adjusted close for all of these stocks. So that's very easy to, uh, to get. In this case, we are going to be adding a square brackets and in addition, the, uh, for example, the uh, type of price that we, are, uh, that we want to get. In this case, I add the adjusted close. Let's, just, let's copy this in another column. just for the example and run the that line and as you can see we have the information only on the adjusted close for these five stocks that we requested uh, we can see that this is not very easy to um, um, to visualize so what we can do is add an additional argument we're going to be rounding uh, the numbers in order to enhance our visibility in this case in order to make it cleaner not to have uh, that many decimals and what we will be receiving is just the two uh, first decimals we can again uh, for example um, uh, focus on another of the stocks that we have in this data set. Suppose that I'm only interested in the stock of uh, Google. So in this case, I will be writing Google and I have a time, a series that corresponds to that stock only. Um, this is in order to extract the information that you might be interested in a data frame. So take a look at these. Um, uh, it is interesting. The last thing it is interesting to see that what is the type of uh, um, um, of this data set. For example, if we set um, if we say that we want to know the type of uh, this data frame that includes these five stocks we will see that it is a pandas core data frame. But if we add, for example, only the um, information on the stock of Apple, we are going to be seeing that what this is returning is a pandas series.